50 degrees outside. It's time for Straight Up. This is where we go deeper on today's news. Now, of course, the breaking news uh, is that we live in a country with a lot of guns and a lot of people with mental health issues. And we can no longer be surprised by what that leads to. So we have no choice but to look to our politicians who actually have the power to make change. Now, after the shooting in Florida, Republican Congresswoman Barbara Comstock of Virginia tweeted out, uh, we all stand with the Parkland, Florida community and pray for the victims and families impacted by this tragedy. We thank law enforcement, first responders and medical personnel who heroically worked to save lives today. Now across the aisle and the Potomac, Democratic Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen said, we must do everything in our power to stop this horror. How many more shootings will it take for Congress to stop talking and take action? Lack of action is complicity. Now complicity. Uh, it's 20 kids, six and seven year olds were gunned down at Sandy Hook in 2012 and nothing changed. Nothing to address mental illness and nothing on assault weapons. Now, speaking of Sandy Hook, since then, there have been roughly 1600 mass shootings. More than 1800 people have been killed and another nearly 6500 wounded in this country. So let those numbers sink in. Now, here's an interesting tweet from Democratic Senator Diane, Diane Feinstein. Uh, another mass shooting, reportedly another AR-15. My bill to ban assault weapons is ready for a vote. How long will we accept weapons of war being used to slaughter our children? How long? Until we elect men and women with the courage to fix these very real problems. Do you think Congress and other lawmakers have done enough to stop senseless gun violence? Let me know with the hashtag GetUpDC. All right, it's 610, 50 degrees outside.